All right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. We are pre-fishing again today for another tournament. Um, this one's gonna be the Sodium Big Fish Classic. It's gonna be biggest redfish and biggest trout. So we're out here in Yankatown. Gonna see what we can figure out today with pre-fishing, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let's go catch them. Looks like a red. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, that'll work. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Yeah. I'll do a quick release on that one. <laughs> That's funny. That pretty good. <laughs> I wish every fish would do that. <laughs> It'll make our lives easier. <laughs> I think. Damn. <laughs> you see that block? <laughs> That's good reflex. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's a good thing that hook wasn't uh, exposed. <laughs> I got bit there. I, I could tell. <laughs> I could even see the swirl afterwards. Woo! I'm not sure who you say, me or you, but you, you you say one of us or both. I think I say my GoPro, to it be honest. Like it was coming straight at me. But yeah, there's something pushing that mullet up along that bank. There could be some snook there. Big snook, dude. That's a big one, Dad. That's a really big one. I'm gonna power pull us down. Where are you going? Wherever he wants to. Them. Can you pull the trolling motor out of the water? Thank you. I just want to make sure. What size uh, leader you got? Oh, I think 20. That's why I'm really playing them. That's a giant, enormous one, dude. I think that's a PB. Oh, that's got to be your PB. Come on. It's over 35. Line up. Like you got him in the corner of a mile. God bless America, dude. That's a freaking stud. Whoa. Dude, that is a Woo! freaking stud. Oh, Holy smokes. What a freaking fish. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, we'll Look at how big that freaking thing is. <sighs> oh my God. You ordered your snook. There you go. Dude, that. Look at the freaking head on this thing. All right, you guys. That is an absolute stud snook. First time back in Yankatown in a few weeks, and the snook have definitely come back in here. And this is a freaking stud. We're gonna get a measurement on him and see how big he is. Get him back in the water. Go on, go on. He's good. What a freaking fish. <laughs> Oh. Dude, what a fish. That's a new PB there. Woo. All right. That was a monster. Oh, 
Well, you guys, as you can see, that snook freed me up pretty good. Almost cut through it, but luckily the leader held up. I was only using about 20 or 25 pound leader, so had to really play that fish, but luckily we got him in and got him released. Just imagine the blow off of that thing. It's a red. Yeah. yeah. Little baby red. Yeah, that's a textbook redfish right there, man. All right, guys, another little red. Let him go. That's what we're looking for. It's something a little bit bigger. We need his daddy. It's a perfect 26 and a half. 26 and three quarters. There we go. Ooh, what we got there? Feel like a good. That's a good one there. I can't even move them. Seems like a snook. No, but he's hefty. I can't even move him, dude. I'm not even moving them up at all. Not a big black drum, is it? I don't think so. I mean, it could be. It doesn't feel like one. Might be a big red. I just saw bronze. Nice red. No, it's okay. Just plant them. Well, I reckon he's probably too big for the tournament. <laughs> yeah, way too big. That's yeah. a good fish, though. Yeah. Thanks, sir. It's on that old split tail finesser. Nice. All right, y'all. First solid red of the day. Not too bad on the old split tail finesser. Once again, from Omen. Solid, solid fish there. He's probably a little bit too big for what we need in the tournament. We're going to go and get a measurement on him and just to make sure, but he absolutely crushed it. Solid fish. 29. 29? 29. 29. All right. Might be. How heavy is he? He's nine pounds. I'll go ahead and let this one go. All right. Good deal. But when you're, what we got here? So I just let him, like, I honestly just let it sit there, reeling it through. I think it got carried with the current a little bit and he just popped it. it up, huh? Yep. All right, big boy. Chill out. He spooked one out right there. Got him. That's a good one. That is a slot, isn't it? Yep. I think I saw that hole eat. Whoa! Oh, shit. 
Yeah. Fourth, one of that. Yeah, probably. Whoa, buddy. All right, you guys. Uh, solid red. This is probably going to be our first slot of the day. If I had to reckon, he's probably about 24, 25 ish. We're going to go get a measurement and see how big he is and then let him go back in the water. Let me get a measurement on him real quick. He's out of the water too long. He is 26. How much does he weigh? Six pounds. Just about a little over six. He kicked off real good. Another one. Then I do some one too. Yeah. Oh, you bastard! I don't think so. No. I don't think so. You taste it too. I don't know from where, but he definitely tasted it. Yep. Oh, it doesn't look that big. I don't know if he's as big as the other one. I don't think so. No, he is. He is. Yeah, he's a little smaller, huh? He just got an attitude. He got double spots. All right, you guys, another red right after that one that we just caught on the Slam Shady four inch paddle tail again. He's another solid one, probably about the same size as the other one, maybe a little bit smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and let him go. There he goes. In case y'all haven't noticed, he's kicking my ass. All right, what are we doing? Um, I'm gonna throw a big swim bait down here in the bottom of this hole. I think so. It doesn't seem like he's very big, but it is a five inch bait. Seems like a redfish. Right, unless he just hasn't started fighting yet. All right, y'all, it is tournament day. We are out here in Yankeetown. Gonna go ahead and see what we can do for some redfish. Gonna go for redfish first, and then go ahead and get on some trout, hopefully. See if we can get a big trout and a big red. See if we can win this thing. Out here with Andy and Major, how you boys feeling? Like a million dollars. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got it. So hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Let's catch some fish. What you got? You seen it yet? Gotta be a red. It's a little bigger than the last one. It's a red. Yeah, it's a little bigger. It's probably like 21. We're going to box for now. Yeah, we're going to box. Might be a topwater day. Yeah, it's got to be had it since on. Thanks, bro. Yeah, look at that. All right. All right. Perfect. All right. You got him? Ha <laughs> ha 
I was like, I really want to hook one on his face. And he's gonna be like, what the? But I couldn't get it though. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude! He got the dick. Oh my yeah. god. But he got the hot rod today. I got the whole thing on video, dude. <laughs> Ain't no way. Right, I'll grab your other rod hang on. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That, no, was you're just, good. that was just me. That's fine. Hey, you caught a fish. At least it works. Alright. I think it was worth it, right, John? Oh, yeah. Josh a spinner bait joking around I don't know if he will I think about maybe kind a little bit smaller the exact same size as yeah let's just let him go okay progress. That's a decent fish there. Got him. Yeah. Yes, Seems like a catfish though with those head shakes, yeah. to be honest. Oh, it's a red. It took, only took cut ladyfish to fill it, but we did it. Hey, a fish is a fish. Buddy, I really want to let you go. The pliers, I got some. I got some. Oh. Got it. Ooh. I hope he survives, but we'll see. All right, buddy. Let you go. Got the bait back at least. It's good. It's real good. Put mine under the mango. There we go. That's <laughs> red. Yeah, that's got to be. Smoke that. It wasn't even like a fight, fight, fight. Yeah. They're like a red bite there, boy. That might be a good red, man. Yeah. I'm trying to pull him out. That's red. Oh, yeah. Might have put us back in the game. All right, y'all, we used some cut ladyfish. Might save the day. Major got one on the lure and we're trying it. Had to weed through some catfish, but I think I poked a decent fish. I didn't realize I wasn't recording, so sorry I didn't get to eat. You got some one of those heavy jig heads? Um, probably do. Should. I'm just using a circle. I've got a circle one. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll take one. We just get that fish in first and I'll worry about it. Sounds good. This is a good fish, ain't it? Yeah, no, he's good. Too. Ready? Yeah. Good job. Woo! 
That's a good freaking job. That's a good one, dude. Right in the corner. He might be a good. He might yeah. be. A, he Back might to be. my roots. He might that be like a perfect. six pounder. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Should I lift the hook Alright, let me get let me put the bogus on them. Sounds good. Get a measurement. That's that's a good fish. Yes, dude. He's like 26 and a half. Quick fish. Alright, get the scale. Alright. Turn it on real quick so that the spaz on. Well boys, we're going to the weigh-in. Yeah we are. <laughs> Hi, it's incoming, right? Yeah. Hey, bro. That's pretty gotta, much as good as it's going to get today. Got to do what we got to do. Yeah. Only way it gets better is if we catch the same length and just way yeah. heavier somehow. Yeah. We'll get it. Take us on the right when we win. Yeah. You know, I'll take 75% of the, of, the, of the winnings. So, because you caught the ladyfish? Yeah. I accept that. <laughs> we'll just tell Major we only won $500. Yeah. Same way. I was like, we're just going to tell you we only won 500 because <laughs> not enough people entered. <laughs> we ought to fish on the weekend. Exactly. Yeah. Get him. That was an instant. Yeah. That might be a trout. It's a red. It's a red? Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all Josh's hooked up? Same exact spot. Looking like a red fish. Yeah, it's big, but I'll take it. Oh, he got some spots on him, man. He might not even be legal. Yeah, I don't think he is. If he's legal. I'm gonna let him go. Okay. He's barely legal. Well, y'all, I want to go ahead and start off by saying I apologize for the wind noise that was in this video. Unfortunately, there's not much that I can do about it when you're you're having to deal with, you know, 20, 25 mile an hour gusts throughout the whole entire day. It just kind of is what it is. So I apologize for that, but hopefully it wasn't too bad for you guys. And I hope you actually enjoy watching the video and seeing the action, See, seeing the ups and downs that we had to deal with throughout the day. It was, a, it was a tough day of fishing, especially on tournament day. Let's just go ahead and say that. But we ended up finishing 15th um, out of over 200 boats that entered into the tournament. I don't know how many actually came to the weigh-in and weighed in some fish. I don't know how many actually participated in it because, I mean, the conditions were not great. So if you're not trying to go out there and not great conditions, then maybe some people didn't. But we went out there, did the best that we could. We tossed around artificials all day on tournament day trying to see what we could find, trying to cover a lot of water. Ultimately, we had to resort to cut ladyfish to catch our good reds that we were able to weigh in. Um, Andy ended up catching a perfect 26 and a half that we weighed in. Came in at 6.47 pounds. Um, not a bad fish at all, very respectable fish, but the winning fish was upwards of the high sevens. I think it was about 7.7 .7 or 7.8, give or take up there. So it was a pretty hefty fish, um, but we came 15th out of over 200. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Pretty happy with that, given the conditions that we had and you know what we had to deal with throughout the day. So. Um, let's go ahead and get into the baits that we were using to catch these fish. So to start out with pre-fishing, we threw a lot of paddle tails. Just a lot of search baits to try to find where the fish were, try to get those strikes through top water, uh, through paddle tails, through spoons, split tail finesse, or a little bit of everything just to cover some water as fast as we could. I was tossing around a four inch slam shady paddle tail from Z-Man on the Texas side jig head. A great, great combo. You can do the four inch or the three inch bait, whichever one you prefer. Uh, this time of the year, as it's starting to get warmer, go up in size, go to a four inch, even the smaller fish will still hit it. Um, so I'd knock up to a four inch if I were you this time of the year. You can even do five inch now. I personally feel like if you're fishing for redfish specifically, I would stick with a four inch. I find that a lot of times when I use a five inch, snook get it first. They snook get it first before you can even get the chance to get into some reds. So stick with a four inch if you can. That being said, I did catch a snook on this four inch bait. Um, as you guys saw, that snook was sitting right on the inside of a cut that was going into a pretty good creek, but he was sitting closer to the oyster bar in an area where the current broke a little bit. It was where the water's not coming through as fast. He could sit there a little bit easier and bait and, bait and everything still gets sucked right into him. So tossed this thing up towards the oyster bar and then brought it back with the current. He smacked it. So he was sitting right on the edge, just waiting for something to come through. And then also used this thing to catch some redfish as well. Caught the two pretty good reds that would have been good for tournament day. Um, on this bait here. I caught that big red on the split tail finesser. 
Um, you guys know I love this bait. I use it pretty much every single trip. This is from Omen Lure Supplies. This is Andy's company. I will go ahead and link it down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out and get yourself a pack of these. Um, definitely recommend it. He can do any color that you want to. He does custom orders. So go ahead and check it out and get yourself a pack of these and you will not be disappointed. Rig it on a football style jig or any sort of weedless hook that you want to rig it on. I mean, you could even do an open face jig head too if you wanted to. Just, just be careful working on the bottom and not getting hung up with that. But it's very versatile. You can use it however you'd like to and you're going to catch fish with it. So go ahead and check it out. Come tournament day, we threw everything at them. We threw spinner baits, top water, spoons, more paddle tails, different colors, voodoo shrimps, the split tail finesser. We caught some redfish on a little bit of everything, but we didn't really get into some good fish until we started using cut lady fish, as you guys heard me say earlier. So had to resort to that. Didn't want to, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It was a pleasure to fish with Andy and Major. If you guys have not seen major before go ahead and check him out on instagram and tiktok major gator 95 he posts some of the funniest stuff that you'll see when it comes to fishing so i'll go ahead and link both of them down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out i appreciate you guys watching the video if you could go ahead and like subscribe comment down below let me know what you thought of it and i will catch you guys on the next one